So for example, here we've got two things on the bottom of this fraction, both the 6 and the pi. So you have to put these in parentheses, or the calculator won't know that they're a single denominator. Anytime you have more than one thing on the top or on the bottom of a fraction, you have to put that top or bottom in parentheses. Now it looks like we still haven't put the parentheses around the denominator. So you actually don't need parentheses around the whole fraction. Those parentheses that you're putting around the whole fraction are just going to confuse you. What you need is a parenthesis to tell it when the denominator is starting, and you need a parenthesis to tell it when the denominator is ending. So you, uh, the only parentheses you need are the parentheses in these two exact locations, at the beginning of the denominator and at the end of the denominator. You don't even need that parentheses that you put in, this one over here. But it doesn't mess you up, it's just that the more parentheses you put in, the more confusing things get. Okay, the parentheses we need is a parenthesis to tell it when the denominator is starting and another parenthesis to tell it when the denominator is ending. Times by five six. Now these parentheses actually weren't necessary. The only ones you need are the ones around the denominator. That's okay. Okay. So I think something must have uh, come out in the, the rounding there. That's still not quite right. But so it's important to know how to do this. But something else we could have done is what's the sign of two pi? Let's check that on your calculator. It's zero. Yeah, it is zero. And what's the sign of six pi? Zero. Because that's just three cycles. So what should the answer be? Two-thirds. So you can see something must have gone wrong because you got 0.65, but the answer should have been 0.6666666666, yeah. right? Okay. So it should come out as 0.67 or two-thirds. What's the answer to the question then? or two-thirds probability. Remember, what was the question asking? They were asking, what's the probability that the particle would be found in this portion of the box? Let's think about the intuition here for a second. Um, this is two-thirds of the box, right? So this right here is two-thirds of the box. So maybe it's not too surprising that there's a two-thirds chance that the particle is going to be there. However, that's not the way quantum physics always works. Actually, sometimes the probability that you'll be in a part of the box is not the same as the fraction of the box. In fact, they're usually not the same. The only reason these came out the same here is because the boundary here happened to be right on a node. This is the n equals 3. Well, n equals 3 is when we're fitting three half wavelengths in. Um, so the boundary here happened to be right on a node. Um, and uh, as a result, the, prob the, the, uh, the probability was exactly corresponding to the fraction of the box that we're looking at. But that's not always going to be the case. So we really do have to go through all this work here to be sure. So that is uh, quite a bit of work. So let's see, what did we use here? Very important to know, uh, well, first of all, it's a probability, so we have to take psi and square it. Where did we get the psi function? Well, just from the textbook. The textbook tells us the function for an infinite well. Then you square it and take the integral to find the probability. Remember that you can take constants out of integrals, and then we just use the formula they gave us for taking this integral. Uh, by the way, you can see now why it doesn't do you any good to put in the constant. Why don't we put in the constant? Well, if we had put in the constant here, and then we had put in the constant here, and then we had done the subtraction, the constants would just have canceled anyway. Since we're simply going to be subtracting, the constants will cancel anyway. So when you're taking a definite integral, there's no point including the constant of integration, because it's just going to cancel out uh, anyway. And then we just have to really take our time with the algebra here. Okay.